Here in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can snap lines using the Move tool on ArcGIS Pro. If you're not familiar, snapping is what Esri calls a function where when you're moving a feature, it will automatically guess where you're trying to connect it to on another feature and adjust its position to help you fit it there. If you're still a little shaky, it'll make a lot more sense when I show you. Normally, most features can snap onto anything by default when the Move tool is turned on, but there is one exception with lines. Lines are only able to snap at one point and that point usually always defaults to being the middle of the line. Often not helpful, because like in our example here, usually when you want to snap a line, it's connecting the end of a line to the end of another line. The first step we need to do is make sure that we select our line. Have the select tool clicked, drag over it, or click on it. And there we go. Now we need to head to the edit ribbon, and we want to select the move tool. This is one of the main tools that we are going to use to move lines, the other being edit vertices. The main difference between the two is that move allows you to grab and move entire lines or chunks of area all at once and drop them down wherever you want them. Edit vertices, however, allows you to create, alter, and add segments to your map. This doesn't allow you to move it all at once, but it's great for minor adjustments, adding a part, or moving only one end of a line. Now that we know the difference of the tools, let's select the proper one. We want move here. And with our line selected and the tool chosen, we see this yellow circle appear, and the one I mentioned earlier, right in the middle of our dotted line. This is where we can see where the line is going to end up. So watch what happens when I move it. I can get it pretty close, and I can place it there. But as you can see, it's going entirely based on my placement. And if I put it there and zoom in, you can see that there's a little bit of space in between. It's not entirely lined up quite right. So what we're going to need to do to fix that is first, we're going to need to make sure that we have snapping turned on. It's over here between the save and the move tool. And when it's highlighted in blue like this, like it is for me, that means it's turned on. All you need to do is just give it a click if it isn't, and it'll be ready to go. Now, on my line, with it selected and the move tool chosen, if I hold down the control button and click on a point on the line, like this end point here, you can see it moved the yellow circle over there. Now, watch, you can see when I move it closer, it snaps right to there and it tells me what it's snapping to. So I can drop it down, let go, and hit that green check mark button, and there we go. Now it's moved into its new position. The last thing we need to do before it'll be totally saved is click on the Save Edits tool in the Edit tab. Once that's done, there we go. Our changes have been finished on ArcGIS Pro. It's pretty easy to do once you know what to do, but it can be hard to figure out if you don't. 